Yes. Hey y'all. Welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, y'all. So let's just hop in and get this message for the Capricorns. All right, y'all. So we have death at the bottom of the deck. So there is an ending for a new beginning. So, you know, uh, Capricorns, you could just be, you know, ending things that no longer serve your highest good. Um, you know, you could be ending a job. You could be ending, you know, immature mindset. But there is something that is ending. And, you know, there is going to be a new beginning. So... Let's just hop on in, Capricorns. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. Six of coins. So, Capricorns, I do see that, you know, in the next seven days, you could be get, receiving some type of financial assistance. You know, this could be in the form of charity. This could be in the form of someone just, you know giving you some type of money, you know, as a gift, but I do see some financial assistance coming your way in the next seven days. Mm. Yeah, the moon is here. So, you know, if this is not a gift or if this is not, you know, something that someone's just gifting you, I feel like that in the next seven days, you possibly are going to get some type of, you know, unexpected income or some type of, you know, some type of money because of some illusions, something that was kept from you. I do feel like that there is some money um, that was being kept from you, Capricorn. Many spirit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the tower is here. So, you know, I do feel like that there is some money that is being kept from you. And I do feel like with this tower here, you know, something is about to change suddenly when it comes to, you know, whatever this uh, six of coins situation is. But I do feel like that there is some money that is being hid from you. And if this is not that scenario, then I feel like that there is a lot of people around you, Capricorn, you know, that could be having their hands out. And I do feel like, you know, a lot of these people or whoever these people are, you know, they could just be creating illusions. Whoever these people are, you know, they're they could be, you know, in your life only, you know, for what you have. So with that being said, you know, with the tower here, there did, there is getting ready to be a sudden change. So if it's not the fact that, uh, you know, there's someone or something keeping some money away from you, it's the fact that, you know, there are a lot of people around you, you know, that basically have their hand out. But, you know, they their intentions aren't good when it comes to you.
Spirit put one on six of coins. Yeah. Yeah. This is my caught red handed card. So, yeah. Whether it's, uh, you know, someone or something uh, keeping this money away from you or, you know, people just having their hands out and, you know, they have ulterior motives when it comes to you. I do feel like that whoever these people are you, with this tower here, I do feel like in the next seven days, um, these people are going to get caught red handed. I do really feel like that, you know, there is some money that is being hid from you. The moon. Yeah. Lies and deceit on top of the moon. So, yeah, I do feel like, you know, that there is someone or something that is, you know, keeping some money from you and they are going to be caught red handed in the next seven days. I do feel like that whoever these people are or whatever the situation is, I do feel like that they are going to be caught lying. Or they're going to get caught in some type of lie. The tower. Yeah, there is a sudden change because whoever these people are, whatever the situation is, you know, these people definitely are, you know, trying to cover something up or they tried to. But in the next seven days, you know, when it comes to this six of coins situation, someone or some people are going to be caught red handed. Mm -hmm. For some of you at the bottom of the deck, it's a third party mm -hmm. that's withholding information and keeping secrets. Yeah, but divine timing is at play. For sure, because, you know, whoever this is or whatever this is, they definitely, you know, chose the wrong person. They definitely made a very, very bad decision when they try to keep this money from you. Hold on, y'all. Spirit put one on six of coins and caught red handed. Mm hmm. Yeah. We have this is my, my moving card. This is my leaving. This is my spiritual journey card. This is my vacation card. So, for some of you, you know, whoever these people are, um, they could have stole your money. You know, and maybe you were on vacation, but I do feel like that, um, whatever this is about this, you know, money situation, I do feel like in the next seven days that whoever these people are, this person, they definitely are going to get caught red handed. And I do feel like that they are going to have to take a walk of shame because whoever this is, you know, they definitely created illusions for you. They definitely lied to you. They definitely were deceitful towards you. So you could have, you know, asked these people or this person, you know, did they steal your money or, you know, whatever. And these people could have told you no. But they definitely were lying. And I do feel like that whoever these people are, you know, they're going to have to uh, take a walk of shame. But I do feel like once in the next seven days, once these people get caught red-handed, you're going to walk away from these people. Spirit put one on the moon and lies on the seat. Wow. This is someone um, that you could have had a family with. You know, this could be your mother. You know, this could be your sister. This could be your brother. This could be, you know, it's, it's you know, family members. Yeah. Or it could be, you know, someone that you possibly have children with. But, you know, that's the person that basically was covering up the fact that either, you know, they were keeping money from you or they stole your money. Mm -hmm. Put one on the tower and the quilt.
Mm-hmm. Yep. And then the next seven days with this tower moment, there is about to be a sudden change. Um, for whoever, you know, was trying to cover up the fact that they either stole your money or they were keeping your money from you. So these people could have went in your mailbox and stole a check. These people could have, you know, took your bank card and, you know, went in, spent your money or, you know, went and got to the ATM or whatever. But I do feel like that, you know, you're, I do feel like that you were, your intuition was sending you a red flag, you know, about your money. But I don't feel like that you fully believed that whoever these people are would do it to you. But I do feel like that you were, you know, suspecting that these people were trying to steal from you. So with that being said, your your intuition was right. Your intu intuition was right, you know, about these people. Yeah, look, at the bottom of the deck, ten of coins. So yeah, definitely a family situation. Family members, you know, ex, I mean, excuse me, lovers. Uh, take it how it resonates. But yeah. Mm hmm Yep. And then look, we have when I split the deck, we have five of wands and then ten of cups. So yeah. There definitely could be a, a lot of drama going on in your family, you know. A lot of drama going on around you about this situation. Mm-hmm. But page of wands. Yeah. In the next seven days, you are going to receive some information and you know, these people are gonna be caught red handed. Spirit put one on uh, caught red handed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Eight of Wands. And I do feel like, yeah, in the next seven days, you are going to get some communication, you know, about this money. Um, I don't know, you know, who's going to be communicating with you, but. Hopefully, we'll see. But in the next seven days, you are going to get some communication about this money for sure. And when you do get this information, these people are going to be caught red-handed. Mm -hmm. Look, the hangman at the bottom of the deck. They're going to be stuck. They ain't going. They ain't going to be able to. Ha they're not going to have anything to say. They're just going to have to take the walk of shame. Spirit put one on leaving a situation. Walking away. Mm hmm Yeah. The high priestess. Yeah. Because you already know, you know, you already knew that it was them. But I do feel like that whoever these people are, you know, they're gonna choose to go ahead and walk uh walk the uh you know, walk away. And it's because, you know, Whoever these people are, they do know that you have spiritual gifts. They know that you are tapped in, you know, with God. They know that you are on your spiritual journey. So whoever these people are, they 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 knew that eventually they were going to get caught. Mm -hmm. They knew that they were going to eventually, you know, get caught creating these illusions, lying and being deceitful. And so, yeah, you know, these these you know who these people are. And the fact of the matter is they know that you possibly already knew that it was them. And so, yeah, they're going to have to, you know, take this walk of shame because they, you know, try to create illusions about your money. They try to, you know, lie and be deceitful about your money and then, you know, basically love on you like everything was everything. Deceit and lies. Yep, Knight of Coins. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Being deceitful and lying to you about your own money. And whoever these people are, you know, I do feel like that these people tried to, you know, like I said in the beginning, you could have, you know, said something to someone or some people, you know, about your money. And they could have basically been like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But then, you know, they could have turned around the next day and try to bring you, you know, twenty dollars or something like that mm-hmm yeah mm hmm but they definitely were lying and being deceitful about your money mm hmm and it's probably to keep you from you know basically walking away from from them whoever these people are
family love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six of swords in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever these people are, you know, they did. They tried to, you know, possibly, or they're going to try to possibly, um, you know, give you some money to basically cover up their tracks. Whoever these people are, you know, again, they are family members. They could be close friends, you know, um, they could be the mother of your child, the father of your child. But I do feel like with this knight of coins and this six of swords in reverse, yeah, whoever these people are, I do feel like that they're going in the next seven days, try to come back towards you to possibly, you know, give you some money because they know that they've been caught red handed. But with the tower here, I feel as though, yeah, you're not going to accept it because the fact that the matter is, you know, that these people are just playing games. And so, yeah, everything is going to come crashing down for these people or this person in the next seven days. Again, they're going to be caught red handed. Covering something up. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, with that being said, with this Three of Cups here, I do feel like that, you know, it uh, it is a, you know, some it is a family member or a lover or someone like that. But I also feel like that it was other people that were involved. So just say if it was, you know, your sister. Well, it was your sister and her friends. Or, you know, if it was your, your cousin, it was your cousin and your friends. Or in their friends. So yeah, there is a sudden change that's getting ready to take place for for whoever these people are that, you know, stole your money or try to keep your money from you. They definitely were trying to cover it up. But I do feel like that, you know, your intuition was right about something. And your intuition was right that whoever these people are, they were being deceitful behind your back. You know, they were lying behind your back. Mm -hmm. Your intuition was right. Hold on, y'all. Mm-hmm. Temperance. Yeah. Your intuition was right. You know, while these people were all up in your face, you know, basically trying to, you know, be a happy family, you know, pouring into each other or acting like, you know, they're trying to pour positivity in you or whatever. But I do feel like that your intuition was right about, about these people. And I do feel like that with the temperance card here, you definitely help these people or at least you try to help these people, you know, get their life together. <clears throat> and these people had had the nerve, you know, to basically try to steal from you. Six of coins. Yep. Ten of swords. Yeah. They definitely, yeah. They definitely try to steal from you. They definitely try, definitely try to betray you. Definitely try to cause you to suffer. When it comes to your finances, six six of coins, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. The emperor at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, it definitely could could be your job. You know, this emperor could represent your boss for some of you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eight of wands. But I do feel like, you know, that whoever these people are, I do feel like that you did. You gave a lot to them. I do feel like that you try to support them in their lives any way that you could. I feel like that, you know, whenever these people needed something, you were there. Look, and the emperor came back out. So if this is not, not a boss, well, this masculine energy, this emperor, you know, this could be... Um, you know, your father, this could be, you know, someone of importance to you, this emperor. Because, you know, emperors, you know, they set the rules. They're kind of like authority figures. And if this is not, you know, um, your boss or like your dad or your granddad or your uncle or something like that, this definitely could be, you know, a judge, the emperor here. But yeah, 
whoever these people are, you did a lot for them, and they did. They betrayed you. They betrayed you, and they did it over and over and over again. And so, in the next seven days, you are going to get some type of communication, and it is from a masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for some of you, these people are getting ready to go to jail. The high priestess. And for some of you, you know, these people, you know, did did steal this money, this check, because I feel like they stole something. It wasn't that they were just keeping it from you. I feel like they stole it. And I do feel like that, you know, these people um, stole it when you were away from your home, like when you were on vacation or when you were at work or, you know. Um, but these people definitely, you know knew that you were going to eventually find out and then we have knight of wands in reverse so whoever these people are you know they i do feel like that they basically were jealous you know of your passion they're jealous because you know you could possibly have an adventurous life um but i do feel like that you know your intuition was was on and that is what kind of slowed down these people from continuing to take more um, I do feel like that you definitely didn't have enough evidence to really prove, you know, that it was them, but your intuition was telling you that it was them. And so it did kind of stop them, maybe, or or slow them down. Maybe this is when you basically asked, you know, what's going on? Would you, did y'all steal my money or whatever? And, you know, they did lie, but at the end of the day, it kind of slowed them down. It kind of, you know, made them stop and think about it. Mm hmm Not of coins. six of wands yeah yeah and so yeah in the next seven days i do feel like that they whoever these people are you know they are going to come back towards you to try to reconcile this possibly to try to clear their name um you know to get back in your good graces six of wands victory and progress so yeah to get back in your good graces and how they're going to try to do that is to basically bring you some of your money back that they already stole to get back in your good graces and I feel like, you know, and this is when they're going to get caught red-handed. Mm-hmm. Yep, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Tower. Yep, there it goes. The Death card. Yeah, sudden change. There, There is about to be an ending. I do feel like that you are getting ready to cut these people out because they definitely were covering up you know that they were basically stealing your money and having all this fun and whatever you know with your money mm -hmm. the empress you don't have time for the, the foolishness and so this emperor it could be you know your husband for some of you because we have the emperor and the empress or yeah or it could be the father of your child Mm -hmm. But there is about to be a sudden change in the next seven days. There is about to be an ending. These people are going to have to take a walk of shame because, you know, they basically um, were stealing your money and they had other people involved in stealing your money. Three of Cups. Yep, Page of Swords. Yep, and so I do feel like that. Um, I do feel like that. You know, in the next seven days, once these people are caught red-handed, I do feel like that you're basically going to be on guard. You know, you're going to be watching everybody else around you um, to basically see if there's some new information that pops up. You know, if there's someone else that was stealing your money. Because for some of you, with the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, for some of you, it, it, it was your children as well, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I do, yeah, I do feel like that you are, you're going to be standing guard and you're going to be basically um, paranoid. You're going to be basically looking at everybody like they're a suspect in the next seven days. 
even your children, for some of you. Temperance. Yeah. Yep. The world. Yeah. So yeah. You definitely helped these people. You definitely did what you could to yeah, to try to make these people happy. But I do feel like that, yeah, you're gonna end it. It's over for these people. I do feel like that, you know, you're done helping these people at the end of the day, in the next seven days, you know, you've achieved your goal of figuring out, you know, with the sun here. Figuring out, you know, who stole your money. And I do feel like that you're going to be done with these people. Six of Swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, yeah, because whoever these people are, I do, yeah, they're going to try to come back towards you, you know. But they're, but they're a fool to think that you're going to believe that, you know, they didn't steal your money. When they are coming back towards you to bring you money. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. They, they're they thinking that, you know, if they come back towards you and try to give you this money, that, you know, everything's going to be okay and y'all can just start all over. Mm hmm The fact of the matter is, look at them. They've already been, you know looking into your money anyway so whoever these people are you know they they definitely are around you and they watch you spend money mm -hmm. yeah but don't worry you know um i i you've been praying about the situation you've been you know trying to figure it out and in the next seven days you know you are going to be able to figure it out figure it out and for some for you know some of you yeah you definitely are going to you know take it to the courts mm-hmm and, you know, with uh, the Hierophant behind justice, yeah, um, I do feel like that these people are going to have to deal with, you know, spirit himself. Yep. But whoever these people are, you know, in the next seven days, they know. They know that it's over. They're going to know. And they're going to be feel very dumb. Yep. Because they've been doing it for a long time. Yep. Yep. And you were undecisive. In the beginning, you know, you were juggling with the fact of, is it really them? I don't want it to be them. How can my sister or brother do this? You know, um, but you were juggling, you know, basically with the fact of who really did it because you didn't want somebody to get stuck. You didn't want somebody that you love to get locked up. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. So for some of you, definitely could be your dad. Brother, uncle, you know, take it how it resonates. A lot of cups. Yep. Yep. And whoever this is, you know, they didn't care about, you know, causing you any type of burdens, any type of stress. They didn't. Whoever this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They just wanted wish fulfillment. They just wanted to feel how you feel. But they just don't want to do the work. Mm -hmm. So look. Yep. There goes your spirit guide. Not, not, not today. Yep. And your spirit guide is ready to, you know what I'm saying, deal with these people. Your spirit guide is definitely on guard. Yeah. Yep. Because at the end of the day, you know, in the next seven days, I do feel like that something good is going to come out of this situation for you. And you are. You're going to be able to move forward. You know, you're going to be able to, you know, keep going. These people aren't, though. Mm -hmm. These people aren't. Yeah, judgment. It's their time to shine now. They wanted to shine. They wanted to steal something from an earth angel. Mm -hmm. Look, judgment. Yeah, for, for what? Stealing. Page of coins. Mm -hmm. Playing games. Lying and being deceitful to their loved one. Mm -hmm. Yep, and so at the end of the seven days... You're going to be, you know, cleansing your energy of these people. And, yeah, they're going to be in the Five of Pentacles energy. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you're definitely walking away from these people. Mm -hmm. Just try to steal your money. Or they did. They didn't try.
So let's clear this canvas. You already know what's up. Let me get some kipper. Excuse my arm, y'all. What else do the Capricorns need to know? We have Pathway. Expectation. Mm-hmm. Imprisonment. Mm-hmm. So whoever these people are, you know, that have tried to, you know, steal, uh, I feel like that they were, or did steal, I feel like they were expecting you, you know, to change your path. So I feel like they were expecting you to, you know, get off your spiritual journey and act a fool so that you would go to jail. Because whoever these people are, they, they did, they stole a lot of money from you. But I do feel like with the high honor card that, you know, there is divine intervention Mm -hmm. yeah divine intervention because yeah you are on your spiritual journey but I feel like that you know their divine intervention is at play because whoever these people are you know they try to steal from you when you were on vacation they try to you know do whatever they could while you were gone you know away from your house whoever these people are like I said you're around these people all the time like you would never expect these people to have stole your money but they did mm -hmm. and they were trying to have you like this but unfortunately, they're going to be like this. Mm hmm Yeah. Judication. Yeah, because they basically did some work to get take uh, get a gift, a financial gift for themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Being childish. Yep. For unexpected income. So yeah, these people, you know, they they thought that they were going to get you off of your path. They thought that they were going to get you to act the fool. But unfortunately, they chose the wrong path, you know. And so for some of you, like I said, you can be expecting these people to go to jail. Because the divine intervention is here. And the fact of the matter is, you know, they, maybe you went, you know, away for work or something like that. But these people shouldn't be... They shouldn't have did it behind your back. They shouldn't have did it at all. Mm -hmm. Spirit put one on pathway. Yeah. Yeah. They were focused on the wrong things, whoever these people are. You know, you were basically focusing on your path. You were focused on, you know, changing, continuing to change your toxic ways. You were focused, you know, focused on seeing the light. And whoever these people are, they definitely were focused on the wrong things. Again, they were expecting you to go off so that you could go to jail so they, I guess, could steal the rest of your money. I don't know. Expectation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. They were expecting you to go off. They were expecting you to retaliate. Mm-hmm. And they're about to go to jail. Imprisonment. Yeah, they're about to go to re go to jail, and they're going to majorly regret it. <laughs> Divine intervention, high honor. Mm -hmm. Divine intervention. Yep. Investigation. So yeah, they're under physical investigation and spiritual investigation. Mm -hmm. 
journey. Mm -hmm. They're suffering in silence. Yep. So, yeah, and you're going to, and I feel like in the next seven days, you know, they're going to basically have to watch you have this new beginning. And for some of you, you know, you are just going to pack up and move some, you know, you're basically, you know, they're going to have to watch you have this new beginning and be, be right where you were on your spiritual journey on the same path that they, that you was on when they stole your money. And they're going to have to watch you. And these people are definitely going to be suffering in silence in the next seven days. And it's also because now their life is going to change, you know, um, because for some of you, they are going to jail. And so they're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some information is coming your way. Despair. Look, unexpected money. Check the mail. So, yeah. So with this despair card. Um, I do feel like that, you know, a part of this, them going to jail or a part of this investigation, they're going to have to pay you back your money. And so it's going to cause them to be hungry, stinking and starving. But oh, well, nobody told them to steal your money. Focus on the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a change is coming. A change is definitely coming. And I do feel like the start of that change is you're walking away from these people. To continue to focus on the right things, your spiritual journey, you know, your health, your your wealth, um, you know, your responsibilities, everything. Mm -hmm. A change is coming, but I do feel like that these people were expecting you to retaliate, retaliation. Mm -hmm, but you didn't, and you're not going to. You're going to reject them to protect your energy because you already know, and they ain't about to project that imprisonment energy on you. Mm -mm. Major regret. Yep. Yep. Y yeah. You're going to reject these people in the next seven days. I can't say in the next seven days they're going to go to jail or prison. But, um, I mean, at the end of it, at the end of, you know, the investigation, somebody's going to jail. And they're going to regret the fact that they but were showing you fake love. Mm-hmm. Investigation. Investigation. Mm, person from the past. So, with that third party, that the Three of Cups card coming out, uh, they were working with someone from your past. So, like I said, it could be the father and mother of your child, or it could be an ex-lover or something like that. But whoever these whoever these people are, they some of them are your family members, or one of them is your family member. The other one is somebody from your past. Yeah, but they're all getting ready to go through karma and judgment. They should have decided to, you know, get on their spiritual journey, but unfortunately, they're not, or and they didn't, and so they're suffering in silence. Yep, and yeah, like I said, and part of it is because they're going to have to watch you shine bright like a diamond. Mm -hmm. While they're in despair and hungry, stinking, and starving. Unexpected money. Check the mail. So, yeah. These people, yeah, they're going to be hungry, stinking, and starving because they checked your mail and stole your check and went and deposited in their accounts or uh, took it to a bootleg store and got it cashed. I don't know. But, yeah. But you're going to get paid back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because whoever these people are that's in despair, that's going to be hungry, stinking, and starving, they're going to basically speak some truth that they did. They saw your check out of your mailbox. But they're going to have to pay you back. Focus on the wrong things. A change is coming. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely, you know, going to be able to heal from this situation. Retaliation. Reject to protect. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the time is now. So for some of you, in the next seven days, somebody is going to go to jail. Major regret, fake love. But I feel like when it comes to healing from the situation, Spirit is saying, you know, the time is now because you have something else that you need to do. Yep. Major regret, fake love. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spiritual awakening and transformation. So, yeah, whoever these people are, you know, they basically were trying to say, you know, that they were a part of, you know, the soul tribe. Like, they were, you know, spiritually awakened and, you know, want to get on their spiritual journey and things of that nature. But that was all lies. They're, reg they're going to regret everything that they said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> spiritual journey. Wow. Investigation, person from the past. Look, third party. Yeah. So whoever this past person is, this third party, they are under investigation as well. And yeah, whoever these people are, you're going to have your new beginning and you're going and, you know, because they betrayed you so bad, you're going to continue on your, your spiritual journey. You're going to continue, you know, to shine bright like a diamond and they're going to continue to suffer in silence. Yep. And then also have money issues. Suffering in silence, shine bright like a diamond. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everything is going to backfire and the tables are going to turn. Yep. And so that's how these people are going to be in despair in the next seven days. Unexpected money. Check the mail and speak some truth. Mm-hmm. And for some of you, whoever these people or, these po uh, or, or this person is, you know, they try to bind you to a spell. But I feel like they bound their own selves to a spell. So, yeah, Capricorns, you can sit back and relax. But when you hear the alarm, run for cover because something is about to blow up. Yeah, these people are going to go through karma. Um, they're going to be under judgment. Why? Let me turn it up. Because they stole something from you. And they should have chose a different path. No, nope, but they didn't. So, yeah, you're just going to walk away from these people. Because whoever these people are, they definitely are stuck in their old ways. And I do feel like in the next seven days, you're definitely going to be seeing through the fog, Capricorn. But I do see that you are going to get your money back. So, you know, don't worry about that. But these people, you know, are going to get what they get and they can't throw a fit. So that's been your message, Capricorn. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.